Hey Mary, we want to do something really special for your 40th birthday, so... Happy 40th birthday! Happy, happy 40th birthday, Mary Malloy. Happy birthday to my favorite, favorite shower upper. Happy birthday, Mary! Hi! You are somebody who shows up. Happy birthday, Mary! Happy 40th birthday, Mary! This is a special birthday greeting for Mary. You show up when you're needed. Happy, happy birthday, Mary! You show up when you're wanted. Hi, Mary, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I'm sorry, we can't be together. I'm sure you would have had an epic party. You show up sometimes when neither of those things are true. <laughs> and everybody loves it anyways. Happy, happy birthday! Hi, Mary, I just wanted to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. It feels like it's been so long since we've seen you guys and we hope you're doing well and we hope that you have a wonderful birthday and that you guys are still Having a great time. I love you, Mary. Happy birthday. Since you're not going to Italy, I looked it up in Italian and I want to say, Te amo and buon compleanno. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, dear Mary. You are an amazing, strong, funny, wonderful person that I'm so honored to have as my cousin. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, 40 years old, man. Can't believe you're 40. Can't believe we're getting old. Happy 40th birthday, Mary! Ah! Say happy birthday, Mary. Mary, happy birthday. See the palm trees from sunny California. I love you and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Yo, Mary! This is your cousin, Greg. Gurry. Greg, Gregory, whatever. Wishing you a very, very happy birthday and many more to come. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy birthday to my dearest sister. Paul and I want to wish you a happy 40th birthday. Hey, Mary, happy, happy birthday. We love you, Mary. We wish we could celebrate with you in person. Hi, Mary, happy 40th birthday. Welcome to the club. Hi, Mary, happy birthday. It's a really exclusive club. You'll love being a member. Hi, Mary! Happy, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Mary. Jojo, say happy birthday, Mary. Hey, Mary, I'm here with baby Peter, wishing you a very happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Mary. Mary. Hey Mary, happy birthday from Tim and Megan in Denver. What's up? Happy birthday, Mary. I love you so much, and I'll never forget our bird day that we had with Jack and Sam and Max. It was the best. I love you. Love you, Mary. Happy birthday. You're the best. Hi, Mary. Happy birthday. I cannot believe that you are the big 4-0, and you get to experience it just a little bit before me, so tell me how it goes. Ray suggested some uh, memory, early memories from uh, your life. My whole life, you all have always been so intentional and loving. 10 years ago, when you walked into my kitchen carrying a double cupcake holder, I knew that you were one of my people. When I heard this knock on the door and there you were with a plate of cookies for us because we had just moved in to the neighborhood. Back in 2000, I started working at Artie's and I met two of my favorite people there and got to witness the start of their love story. Always, always remember how much you were there for me and supporting me um, throughout the process of adopting Nathan. I just want to thank you for the amazing experience we had on the amazing race where we got to travel to 13 countries. As a new mom and new to this area, you were one of the first people that really welcomed me and made everything about motherhood and moving and everything else feels so much easier. And we won it. We became millionaires. It was awesome. And you know what? Best partner ever. We talked and talked and talked about pregnancy. Almost four years ago, we met. And birth. On the soccer field. 
and all things babies. And I felt an instant connection with you. I knew you'd always make a great mom because you were so motherly to everybody at work. We get to the door and two nanas in one place, Mary cartwheels down the hall in celebration of the fact that there are two nanas in one place. I know Ray still drives you crazy, but that's great. You guys are a perfect couple. At Green Acres, where we met, I remember meeting you in kindergarten, and you were just went right on up and introduced yourself. And um, I was crying in the lunchroom because I was new and I didn't have any friends met in first grade and honestly from the moment that I met you I knew I had gained a lifelong friend and I remember you coming over and comforting me and being such a sweet friend and it was just such a merry moment you're always doing something for someone else and you're always taking care of people of course our friendship really wasn't you know solidified until we were older and uh, we created the fearsome foursome in fifth grade. Love you so much, honey. Fearsome foursome forever. Fearsome foursome is going to go to Hawaii together, right? I scrounged up some pictures from when we met in Costa Rica and Nicaragua. And I don't have a memory where I didn't know Mary, so. Oh. You are still the same person you were in middle school where you made sure that everyone on the team felt welcome. Even if we were all strangers, you immediately made us a family. I can't remember if that's when you got your scorpion bite. I also remember watching Pump Up the Volume and Speed in your basement and how much you loved Keanu Reeves. I remember you writing it on your pillow. I don't know if you remember that, but I do for some reason. Or like the 30 fire ant bites you got. And you always were positive and loud, telling people what to do on the soccer field. And then Mark and I wanted to show you these to see if you remember what these were from, but I just found these up in my room today because I saved everything. Trying to curse, but in only the middle school way of yelling, oh, fiddlesticks! The first time I met you, um, and we were at your parents' house, and I was hanging out with Kate, and you came in, and I got to meet you, and I just remember thinking you were just so spunky and full of life, and you still are. Anytime I hear about something you've done or read about something you've done, You've done it with grace and you've done it with humor and you're just ever so strong. That's what I think of and I admire you. I think of that person that's up right there. Grandma Mimi, we come from a long line of strong women. The first birthday poem you ever wrote me. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good birthday. Roses are red, violets are blue, and hugs and kisses are for you. Abios, your friend Mary. One of the first times that we went over to your house back when we all lived in Northern Virginia, and Jack did something hysterical. Remember, he like built a wall with all of his toys or something? He tried to build a wall so that Sam could not get from one room to the other. That's right. <laughs> and we were like, oh, this is what it's like to have kids. Okay. <laughs> I did not have a little sister to torture and tweak, so I delighted in helping Kate tweak Mary as much as possible whenever I could. In particular, I remember one year making her wrap all of our Christmas presents for us while we watched movies. I remember multiple times her cleaning Kate's room for her in exchange for being able to hang out with us. And I even remember a time or two having her come to my house and clean my room for us. What I didn't realize was that Mary would go from being my best friend's annoying little sister to a friend to me, and then eventually to a sister to me. And I don't suppose anyone has any earlier memories than your mom and me. Not flesh of my flesh, not bone of my bone, but nevertheless still my own. Never forget for a single minute, you didn't grow under my heart, but in it. I remember when you came into our family and how excited all of us were. I love you so much. I remember the first time I laid eyes on you. So I just wanted to uh, think about the time when we went to Korea to get you. I was, um, I think I was almost nine, and you, it was in the airport in Hawaii. And we didn't really know what kind of uh, menu you'd been on. And 
dad was holding you. And um, I came up and put my hand on your back and it was a little hot, sweaty sleeping bag. So we took like a whole suitcase full of baby food and stuff. And you were so cute and so sweet. Fed you in the room and that was great. And then we all went downstairs to the restaurant. And um, I just thought you were awesome. We were eyeing the french fries there. So we said, well, let's give her a french fry and dry it out. And I'd like you even better now. And you thought that solid food was a pretty good idea. Don't know what my life would be like without you. So just glad you're in it. So happy birthday. So we gave you some of, you know, a little bit of hamburger, a little bit of this. Eggs? Yes, please, I'll have some. Pancakes? <clears throat> Why not? We're so happy that you're in our lives. So happy birthday. You are somebody who showed up for me. You came into my life living on River Oaks Drive and single-handedly saved Damani Lewis from an untimely demise. But in particular, you showed up when I decided to move to Zambia. I needed you so bad and you kind of came in with all of this exuberance and joy and fun just when I needed you most. You showed up when I wanted to adopt Joab. You became my friend and my partner in crime and just everything that a girl needs. Well, you showed up in Zambia twice. When I talk about you, I always begin with my friend Mary Malloy, she's a much better person than I am. And they laugh at that, but it's completely true. In cards, in gifts, in just thoughtful notes and phone calls and things and voicemails, lots of voicemail messages that I never really listened to. I love you very much and am so grateful for you and, you know, my unofficial big sister. I love you very much. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy birthday to ya, happy birthday to ya, happy birthday, we love you. We love you so much and we hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday, friend. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Love and miss you so much. Mwah. Bye. Happy birthday, Mary. Take care. I miss you. I love you. Happy 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy Can't wait to see you and celebrate oh. soon. All right, happy birthday. Oh, we miss y'all. Hope you have a fabulous birthday. Hope we get to see you guys soon. But I am so happy that you're in my life. Happy 40th. Love you, baby. Chat soon. Love you, miss you. Miss you, and I hope you have a great birthday. Miss you. Love you guys. Hopefully, we'll get to see you again soon. Bye. Love to you and to your family, and have an awesome 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Mary! This one's for you! <laughs> Happy birthday, Mary. Love you. Love you, sweetie. I hope you have a great birthday, and we miss you. Bye! Love you. Happy birthday. Happy 40th. I wish I could give you the world. Love ya. Happy birthday, Mary. Have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Mary. We love you. <laughs> love you. Happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Uh, we miss you very much. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Proud to be your cousin. Happy 40th birthday. The best is yet to come. Happy birthday. I love you, honey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Mary! 40s, they're really not that bad. Everybody says 40s bad, but I'm enjoying being in my 40s. <laughs> Your husband's amazing, by the way. Shout out to Ray who's doing this because he let me know like weeks in advance. And of course I procrastinate and I'm sitting here in the middle of the night doing this video for you. But he's awesome to do that for you. So you did really well, Mary.